I love my job to begin with, so I love everything about it. There are a lot of challenges, new technology, it keeps us on the bleeding edge. Um, we have close relationships with Microsoft, McAfee, CA, so we're always in the know in terms of new products, new services. And I think what I like the most, and it may sound geeky, but I think I like being on the bleeding edge of technology. I like knowing what's coming out, what's what's the new, uh, let's call it, in thing. What's even the new concept that's not even a reality, but they're working towards this thing that can make coffee for you. A lot of people are shocked when they find out, so you didn't go to UV, you didn't go, you didn't do a degree. And, um, when I say no, I, I, I mean the highest level of formal education I have is secondary school. They're like, that's a hard pill to swallow, but it's through certifications. I mean, when I did my certifications, I studied just as much as the next guy doing a degree. Um, 15 hours a day, read manuals this big. It, 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 it was equally testing and equally hard to get certified. Um, but the thing is, and, and this is where I try to influence people. You don't have to go the route that everyone goes. Not everyone needs to do A's and go through you and, and take the route of getting a degree. Um, although it's, you know, it's frowned upon even, someone might even reject a, an application just because you don't have a degree on your resume. The thing is, if you like something, there are many ways to go about in achieving it. You need to have the drive and the initiative to go out there and get what you want to get. I always try to influence people to find within themselves what they enjoy doing the most and pursue that. Do what they need to do to become marketable. It may not be a degree, it may be a certification, it may be a course, it may be owning something or doing something, but at the end of the day, Whatever you can do to make yourself more marketable, to make yourself a viable option in the industry that you like, do it with the drive and with the initiative. As I said, you don't need to be run of the mill, A's, UE, degree, masters to get somewhere. You can get somewhere once you have that drive. Now I realize that I've reached a position where I should pursue formal tertiary level education. Two things really, it was always a goal of mine to have a degree. Um, I never really got the time after I started to work as a consultant. Um, it really is a time consuming type of industry. Um, so really and truly, it was always a goal of mine. Plus with my role in NetEffect as well, I consider it a sort of a rite of passage, a sort of maybe a, a road of maturity that I'm taking in actually pursuing a business management degree. It would help me mature along a certain line that I'm looking for and um, that's why I'm actually looking to pursue it now. One of the challenges we have isn't the operational side of things, unfortunately it's the administrative side of things because it's a group of us as I mentioned that came together who all have these um, different perspectives on the IT industry. We have project managers, we have uh, application developers, we have security and network engineers, we have sales people. So everyone brings to the table their own strengths. The one thing we didn't have is someone who is seriously business minded, someone who has the experience in running a business. So. A lot of the things was trial by, by fire. We, 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 we tried, failed, we forgot, we <laughs> didn't do certain things. And you know, it's, it's um, we're, we're, we're learning as we go along. So one of the most trying things right now is just the business operations itself. Getting the day-to-day -day activities ironed out, getting it, getting it running like a well-oiled machine. In terms of the IT perspective and the services to our client, that's something we know and know, know how to do well. In the beginning, it was all about how do we register a business? How do we get this thing off the ground? What do we do? BIR number, VAT number, blah, blah, blah. Now it's all about the day-to-day -day operations. Um, 
following up, getting payments, things like that. And at the end of the day, I think every day we learn something. And we're still young, we're still under two years old um, in terms of operations, although we've been registered since 2008. Um, in terms of operations, we're only, we've only been around for less than two years. So at the end of the day, every day we learn something. Every day something happens and it's like, oh, there's a realization there. Even though we're all good friends, and we've been friends for years, there's a line you draw when it comes to running a business, and you know that you keep it professional when it comes to professional related or business related matters. And then you go and have your beers after. There are a lot of different areas in IT, so you need to focus or you need to decide really and truly where you want to go. There's programming, there's security, there's infrastructure, there's the hardware side of things. Um, but if you're getting into the field of IT, one thing that I've learned is that certification is key. Experience is key. And depending on where you're going, a degree may not even be worth that much. Depending on where you're going, but I'm not ever gonna discredit saying or, or discredit a degree. Get your degree, get your certification, get your experience, and everyone starts somewhere. Everyone starts somewhere. So just because you have a degree or you have your certification doesn't mean you start at you know, a high paying salary, a nice office job. You may be required to go and do work that you may not necessarily want to do. But if you, if you have the drive and the initiative, you know you start somewhere and you know where your, your desired end result is and you work towards that objective. When you're young is the time to actually achieve. When you're young, it's the time to drive yourself and push yourself to the limit. And um, it's when you have the most potential to learn and develop and give yourself for the rest of your life the best platform to be successful. So start young, keep your focus, and give yourself the right platform to develop later on in life. I get excited knowing that new technology is coming out every day. and technology helps people. It makes your job easier no matter what field you're in. You are influenced by technology from a, a receptionist to a CEO to a construction worker to a pilot. Technology influences everyone and I think what I like most about my job is that I am always in the technology area. I'm always in the technology field, I'm always in the new. Well, I always tell everybody I want to take over the world. So there's a big pinky in the brain sort of syndrome, um, except that we would like to think there's no pinky, but we'd like to think there's no brain either. There's just, there's just a goal, and the goal is we want to be the best at what we do. Uh, there's, there's no doubt about it. We want to be the best at, at what we do. So our game is IT services, our game is provision of quality IT consultancy to companies, whether it's training, whether it's development, whether it's implementing a simple product into your environment, whether it's even a phone call that you make to us just to ask us a simple question. We want to be the best. We want people to sit down and speak well of net effect.